New details tonight in a stabbing and fatal shooting that occurred in East Austin. It happened off Weberville Road around 11 p.m. 37-year-old Danny Olivares was stabbed several times in the chest. His wife, 35-year-old Cynthia Olivares, was shot and killed. Danny's in stable condition right now at Brackenridge. The Olivares family spoke exclusively with our Jacqueline Inglaze, and she's here now with more. David, friends and family of both victims gathered in East Austin this afternoon. As you can imagine, they are very upset and told me that right now they have more questions than they have answers. They did try to visit Danny in the hospital earlier this afternoon, but were told to leave. They're back home now, and not only are they praying that Danny pulls through, but they also have to plan his wife's funeral. She's Austin's 18th homicide victim of the year. <laughs> Clutching a picture of her son and now deceased daughter-in-law, Nicole Olivares can't do anything but cry. She she feels, she says she has a ball inside that, you know, she, she don't know what to do, she don't know. Danny Olivares drove a friend to this house on Hudson Street in East Austin Saturday night. Four minutes, something like that, he comes back and he's, like, stabbed. Jody says Danny had been stabbed multiple times in the chest. Unable to talk, he fell through the front door of his home on Weberville Street. His mother caught him, her pants still stained with his blood. He's a family man. You know, he just go, he has to go do what he has to do and come home. He doesn't go out there and hang out and cause, you know, he's not in a gang. While family called 911, his wife, Cynthia Olivares, drove back to the house on Hudson Street to find out who stabbed her husband. That's when she was shot and killed. She never went out nowhere. She didn't go to clubs. She didn't go anywhere. She always stayed home with the girls. Danny is now in critical but stable condition at UMC Brackenridge. Danny and Cynthia's three daughters have not been able to see him. It's pretty rough for them, pretty sure. <laughs> Nicole Olivares told KXAN in Spanish she doesn't know what caused this violence, but wants the person responsible in jail. Police are questioning a man they say could be the shooter. His name has not been released and, and charges have not yet been filed. Now the Olivares family believes the man Danny drove home is likely responsible.